So it seems that Donald Trump, real estate mogul, businessman, and longtime golfer, has become a full-time politician. The Republican frontrunner is making news for his brash approach and no PC commentary, so I thought this seemed to be the perfect time to take a no PC look at the Donald's golf swing. If I draw an arrow here, kind of pointing where his eyes would be looking uh, directly, if he was not allowed to use peripheral vision, you could see this, this would be slightly above the golf ball. Um, if, if we just allowed his neck to kind of round a little bit more, uh, and his head to kind of fall, the eyes could look more directly down at the golf ball. And for those of you watching the video, what you might gain from this is that if you've had trouble playing in the past with bifocals or sunglasses or that sort of thing, uh, this could be part of the reason. Your chin may be up a little bit, your back may be too erect. So just kind of relax, let the head fall a little bit, let the neck, neck relax and round, and that'll let your eyes look directly at the ball and you won't have to see it peripherally. Uh, by this stage, he's reached almost a full hip turn. At the same time, uh, his shoulders are turning very flat, and I'm going to mark a line here as I show this, but um, this is something that actually works to his advantage later in the golf swing, and we'll talk about that briefly uh, later. And the other thing to note here is how the left arm, the lead arm, and the trail arm, of course, too, because of the way that's they're attached, but is rotating in a clockwise direction very quickly. So you can see from this picture where my arrows are pointing that the left forearm and the back of the glove is pointing are pointing up in the air. So again, uh, these are the things that are going into play here to cause this club to kind of whip to the inside and get around this video. But with that flatter shoulder turn, you will many times uh, notice that move to the right. And really, I wouldn't even, uh, I'm not looking, generally speaking, or asking for big movement off the ball. I generally uh, think that too much movement can, can be, get to be a problem, but I also don't want to make too liberal of a statement here by any means. Trust me on that. A small move to the right is perfectly fine, and it seems Mr. Trump is very comfortable with this small move to the right. Though we may notice in the near future, he may become much more centered. He, he basically lets his arms be carried uh, up to the top. Uh, he allows, it sets him up for the swing down to the ball and gets him ready to be able to do this uh, hopefully without swinging too much to the left as he swings back to the ball. Um, I think other things to point out here that look great would be this left wrist angle. You can see how flat that left wrist is. Uh, again, this is something from a lot of higher handicap players. You'll see that left wrist cupped in what we call an extended position, but Mr. Trump has this left wrist in a great position, and he's in a good position to deliver the sweet spot uh, to the ball as much from the inside as possible. By all reports, Mr. Trump is a very good player carrying a handicap somewhere between three and six. And what's happening here is he's beginning to start the rotation and create some speed. It's And the small shift of the left arm is in response to that. He's really using, he's beginning to use the ground for resistance uh, in this rotational move. And really that's outstanding. The ability to rotate fast through the shot is paramount to creating speed and Mr. Trump is able to do that without swinging too far to the left and creating a glancing blow on the ball. He rotates very fast. His hips are much more open than the typical club player. Uh, and he ro rotates kind of hard and very quickly into that golf ball. And many golfers and even instructors with their students, if you're an instructor watching this, are afraid to open up and rotate too quickly for fear of coming over the top and getting into a position like this. And this really does not need to be something that average golfers avoid. I mean, the average higher handicap player is actually too closed, but they stay too closed because they struggle to control with their arms and hand path and their wrists are doing, doing during the downswing. So if his left arm was rotating early in the downswing in a counterclockwise manner, that would start shifting the path of the sweet spot out and across the ball. But he's not doing that. He's actually resisting that slightly early in the downswing. Now that arm is going to rotate, the right arm, the right forearm will rotate with it. All these things will happen as the downswing completes, but he's doing a nice job of resisting that early in the downswing and keeping his shoulders in the right position. Yeah. I wouldn't say he's swinging way in out at this ball. In fact, I think he's swinging, uh, you could, if you got measurements, he's swinging slightly left, but it's only a little bit. Uh, it's not really creating a glancing blow. He's got a nice driver pattern and he's hitting like Pull draws. The last thing I do want to mention is, as far as the way Mr. Trump uses the ground and rotates his body and uh, kind of, again, the ground for resistance to rotate fast there, is he does a great job of what we call, uh, heck, and this is a great reference for Mr. Trump, but keeping his hips or his back butt cheek on the wall as he does this. So as he rotates, you'll notice that his hips and pelvis don't push directly to the golf ball. 
uh, he stays, this helps him stay in his inclination to the ground. And he not only creates speed, but he does it again with his inclination to the ground intact. So very nice. And frankly, I could make this wall. I mean, we could make this wall as big as we wanted. We could make a huge wall. We could add feet to this wall. Mexico could even pay for this wall and he would still stay on the wall. The wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. So overall, a really sound motion. There's surely things he could do better, but he does a solid job of creating a good downswing after some unique early backswing positions. If you'd like to see more of what we're all about at Golf Evolution, check out golfevolution.com or the rest of our YouTube channel here.